Ladies and gentlemen, this is Envoy of Kairos, back from our Hyperlight Drifter. And we're just going to head up this elevator and over to the eastern elevator to pick up where we left off taking the northern path underground. And here we are. And immediately getting accosted by more... mutant, clone, goblin head things. I have no idea what the fuck these things are, but they're disgusting and I fucking hate them. And more goddamn turrets. At least the robots have gotten easy now. Forgot about that charge move. I should use it more often. Just insta kills these guys. So satisfying. Oh, yeah, there's a secret tucked here. And it's another monolith. And I got the achievement Librarian, which probably means that was the last one. So, I guess when I'm done here, I'm gonna be headed back to the mountain so I can get into that vault up there. And here's another one node door. Hmm. Using the wrong gun for this guy. Should have switched the rifle. Hmm. You can tell there's gonna be a good deal of secrets tucked around. Oh. Yep, what do you know? Nah, it's just health. Well, it's something. And I'm out of bullets. Now I'm not. Oh, that's... Yeah, that was too good of an opportunity. And one of the remaining nodes. Alright, that's five. Hopefully find six and seven, and knowing my track record, I probably missed an eight somewhere. But I'll backtrack and find it eventually. I really hate those little things. Hmm. There we go. Now I can get that. Awesome. Who knows, maybe I'll have three completed rows of gears to spend in the final episode. Because I do fully intend to complete this area. This episode. I'm sure I can. That was all just for one gear? Or one gear bit? Oh well. That's 
that's a really precarious hidden path. Okay, I guess this will lead us deeper down. Let's go. Okay. Just more of these goddamn goblins down here. That is not a subtly hidden path at all. I've gotten pretty far along on this. It really feels like I've missed something. Okay, yeah, that's definitely supposed to be the main way forward, so let's check this out. More robots, wonderful. And a whole shit ton of boxes to break. Oh. Oh, where's this leading? Just some health and another gear bit. Whatever was in that vat escaped. That's worrisome. Looks like there's something up here. Yeah. It's just more health, but... Could always use a full... St oh, shit. Okay, going after that just flooded this area with enemies again. That was... That was pretty close. Okay. Ah, shit. So it looks like all of these orcs came from here to begin with. So then when and how did they end up expanding into the forest? There is no direct path from here to there as far as I know. Unless these things were locked up in the forest in uh, those crystals somehow. Because these guys were made by the same people that made those titans. And I'm fucking dead. But yeah, this place was clearly made by the same people as made those titans, which means they also made these orcs. Which means there's a pretty good chance that there was a lot of these orcs fighting in that war when those crystal weapons were used. Which to me seems like a pretty clear setup for a lot of them to have fought in that crystal war. Which actually, I guess, makes even more sense when you consider the fact that there was that samurai boss among them. Who... Ah, I'm dead again. Okay, that... That was just poor decision making on my part. But nah, they're definitely... They definitely had to be part of the Crystal War, because... There was that orc samurai boss that had the crystallized arm. Why am I dying so much? These turrets are just a menace. I absolutely fucking hate them. But nah, this, this does seem to be like a pretty consistent and powerful cluster of lore here. So the orcs and the titans have similar origins from a similar creator. 
all made in the same labs. And when those lizard folk came down here, scavenging for stuff to help them survive, they ended up accidentally reactivating some parts of this place, which released the bosses as well as the orcs that I'm currently fighting. That seems like a pretty damn good explanation to me. And here we go. That's node number six. Now let's see if I can find seven on this path or if I miss that too. back around to fight that from the other side. Okay, that's kind of funny. I'm definitely getting better at chaining dashes together. get fucked. Ah, I hate these bots so goddamn much. Oh wow, that guy actually survived. By knocking them across the pit onto a hidden platform. That's interesting. Alright, moving on. Oh. This seems... very final, and they're giving me more health. Yeah. Ah, fuck. This is definitely leading to the next and final boss for this area. Oh boy. And those big things again. Oh, no boss, just a room full of those giant assholes. Okay, so these guys just take two shot, or sorry, one shotgun blast and two slashes. Easy enough. I've got plenty of ammo. A lot better at dodging them now. Shit. Those two just wobbled the fuck out of me. But now they're all dead, so I'm good. And that's a boss door. Okay, let's do this. Oh shit, this one's an archer. And they hate the orcs as much as I do. And he's got mines. Oh, wonderful. Okay. 
Okay, this is gonna take me a few tries. Well, it looks like my dash shield can block his arrows. I'm sure those mines do two damage, so I gotta be real careful about that. Yeah, they do two damage. So make sure to heal whenever I get down to two health. Or at least I will whenever there's mines out. Fuck. Okay, his aim ain't the best at that kind of range. Fuck. There's gotta be some way to take this guy out faster before he's got a ton of mines out. Maybe there's something I can use to counter the mines. Already got a third of his health down, though. That wasn't good. But I think I might have this. Yes, I do. Okay, that death was pretty sudden. And I now have three full rows of gears. This door probably leads us straight to the elevator for the platform containing the main terminal. Ah, and we got another hallucination coming. Uh, what's that noise? Holy shit. Giant biomechanical heart. Uh, and that thing's already beating up here. Which means it's probably feeding into that incomplete one down there. Oh boy. That's fucking horrifying. We gotta shut this place down somehow. We cannot allow something like that to be built again. And here is the main terminal. The last one. That's all of them. Now I just need to get the two remaining nodes here. One of them is most likely in that little chamber down in the southwest that I couldn't open. Another is probably somewhere underground that I completely missed. For expediency's sake, I might look up a map or a guide containing where that is. For now, I think all that's really left here is those two nodes, last keys, and whatever's through the eight-node gate. So, this is On the Way of Kairos signing out, and I'll see you all again very soon for another episode. Later. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. 
And if you're looking to support me a little further, you know, maybe get some bonus content, or just keep up with me and other fans, you can find links down in the description leading to my Patreon, my Discord, and my Twitter. And, you know, if you're following me on Patreon, then you can expect some content polls to decide what's coming up on the channel yet. A little bit of, uh, background additions to some other series I've been working on, you know, some more original and creative stuff. And who knows, if enough of you start supporting me soon, I might have a few other surprises up my sleeve too. Again, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all again on the next video.